Hey, this is Chris Kellett with MuseGrid.com and we're going to take a look at the Fixit template from MuseGrid. So here it is, we've used a, a very nice bright colour scheme mixed with this uh, wood panel background and the intention of this template is for it to be a fun, interesting template aimed at a handyman but it could easily be transformed to a restaurant, cafe or any kind of business really. So our first feature is this um, animated panel here. So as we scroll down the page we can see that our text changes and this is a lead-in to our site and notice we have no navigation here however once we get to this point here using the new fade-in scroll effects we have our animation that um, fades into place and we can move to the different parts of the site. We're also using this uh, nice widget here to uh, create a service area and we're going to scroll down through and we've got some nice scroll effects here with the um, animated uh, pricing sections and some testimonials from customers and then we're down to our form. So it's a really nice uh, simple one page template but um, the idea is, is that somebody reads your marketing message before they get to the navigation and that fades in nicely. But let's jump over to Muse and take a look at it. So I've opened up the Homepage Master. This is where you'll find the slideshow and you'll also find the, um, the navigation and these text that says scroll down the page. Now this page um, contains the full height of the um, opening sequence where you scroll down the page. And what we've done is we're using the um, slideshow widget, but what we have is a transparent PNG for the slides. So we have three, uh, four slides with transparent PNG. So if we switch the thumbnails on, we can see that those four images are set to blank because they're actually just giant transparent PNG. Um, GIF files and that gives us the ability to then have a neutral background so the um, this paper this sellotaped paper item is just a background image then what we've done is we've used the caption box on the um, slideshow you can see we've got caption switched on and we've dragged it to be as big as we wanted it and then we've put the text in and we can do quite a few things with the text and the text panel there. So that's how that works, it's very straightforward. So you can jump to each one of those slides there. And because we haven't got a composition widget with uh, connected to scroll effects, we're using the slide show widget and we've kind of like um, made it into a kind of composition widget. Okay, so I'm gonna switch those thumbnails off now. So that's all set up there. We also have on the background here, the, the image, you can see that we've got scroll effects so that the scroll, the background goes up while the content goes down. And that just gives the person more of a feeling that the, the um, of movement on the page. So jumping into our page itself, let's go to the home page. This is only a single page um, template. So you should be able to fit everything onto this page. We can see here that uh, as we scroll down the page, we have all of our different content and we have our anchor points here. And these are all editable. These are all editable elements with, uh, and we're using um, uh, a fill here with, uh, if I select this box, we can see that we are using a color fill and then we have an image fill over the top. And the same with here, we're using this noise texture image fill. These are, are just a composition widget, so you can click in and modify these elements. And we come down to this area here, and you can see that we have, um, these are all editable, fully editable, and you can swap various items out. And our animation, our scroll effects animation, we can see how this works just by clicking on it. Don't forget to swap out the email address on the form. Some of these elements are modifiable directly within the site. Um, some of them are um, embedded images, so the, the background in here. I'm just going to jump back now to the menu and just take a look at how that works. 
So we have our, in the background here, we have this item here, which is the, the text when it first shows that says scroll down the page. And if we take a look at the scroll effects, let me just bring this panel over for you to see. In our scroll effects panel, we're going to go into our opacity and we can see that at 1500 pixels, we are, the, the unit here is at a hundred percent. Then we get to 1700 pixels down the page. This is scrolling down the page and it's scrolled to 50% and then 1900 pixels and it's at zero. So that's the, the fade out as you're going down the page. Now our navigation panel, and this isn't a navigation menu. This is a series of composition buttons put together because we didn't have the, um, in the menu, we didn't have as much control over how we wanted our buttons to look. So these are all individual composition buttons. And you can see that at 1502, we're at zero. Then at 1502, um, so we go from zero to 50% in, in the same, basically in the, uh, the same point. And then we go up to um, 100% at 17 pixels. So actually the the navigation comes in faster than the scroll um, text fades out so that we have um, a cleaner animation. That's what makes that um, that animation look nice and clean. The, um, the navigation comes into sight quickly as the scroll bar, the scroll text fades out. So it's uh, quite a simple template once you get into it. We also have the mobile version. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to close these individual pages down and jump into the um, the mobile version. We don't have a tablet version because the uh, in this particular template because the desktop version works very well on the tablet as well. So we we leave we've left that out. But in our mobile version, you can see that we've done away with any navigation so that the user just scrolls down with their finger. And then we have a minified version of the services area and our testimonials here and the contact form. So it makes it straightforward for contact. But there was no um, requirement for navigation here as so it's a single page layout and we want the person to actually scroll down the page so they'll be using their finger to navigate. So it's a nice, straightforward, simple template. Well, that's uh, the new Fixit template, and thanks for watching.